Hi there. I'm looking forward to this week's session, virtual session number eight, on subtraction. And today we're really going to see the power of that open number line and connect it to our emphasis on the missing parts. And so um, this is subtraction adding up or finding the missing part or the unknown. So once again, um, this is where you can find the handout. Last time we used the practice sheet, we really focused on counting back to subtract. And now this time we're going to focus on kind of that right hand column of adding up to subtract. So our focus is adding up, finding that missing part. And um, once again, this open number line can be used as a tool to help us solve, or it can be a tool that helps us show our mental way of thinking about these problems. Today you're really going to see how powerful that inverse relationship is. If we are looking at something in which we're perhaps subtracting, we can think about that as a missing add-end or a missing part problem and um, think of it more as an addition problem. So that's the strong connection to core. Connections to the addition subtraction strategies standards that work K through 4. Um, and so I'm not going to mention all of these today, but you can certainly go back and look at session 7 if you want to see those connections. All right, so just a reminder of back when we were working on number bonds, how we really emphasized the parts in the whole. And that's really critical as we move into thinking about adding up to subtract. So for example, this problem could have been, there were nine animals, five of them were cats, how many of them were dogs? So once again, we could think of that as nine minus five equals something. Or we could also think about that as, the parts, 4 plus another part, the add-ends, equals the whole amount of 9. So that building back when we were working on number bonds, we constantly asked about where do you see the parts? Where do we see the whole? How could we think about that as subtraction? How about as an addition equation? Really working on that inverse. All right, so let's take a look at this problem. My class earned 20 dojo points, and they needed 80 points to earn extra recess. How many more points do we need? So you'll notice this is one of the first problems on your practice sheet, and I'm, I'm going to be picking and choosing some problems within that practice sheet. Um, and you can see I've added the context. So what's the question really asking us? Kids really need to use those close reading strategies as they enter into the context. So how many more points do we need? Okay, so we need blank more points. Okay, so we could think about this problem as 80 minus 20, because we've already got 20 points, how many more do we need? So we can think of it as a subtraction equation, but we could also think of it as the inverse, or 20 points plus some more points is going to equal a total of 80 points. We're really trying to figure out how many more points we need. Okay, so here's what we have, 20. How many more do we need? So with an open number line, if we're thinking about adding up, we're thinking about 20 plus what is going to equal 80? 20 plus 60 is going to equal 80. So you can see that, you know, the tool isn't real powerful in regards to kids can oftentimes think about this mentally, but it's sure a great quick way to show their thinking on the open number line. And here we're even going to think about where do you see the whole? Oh, I see 80 over to the right-hand side. And what about the parts? Well, we started with 20, we know that we need 60 more. The difference between 20 and 80, do you see the difference here, is 60, okay? All right, let's move on so you can see the power of this. Okay, now let's take a look at this problem. My dad requires me to read 50 minutes each day. I read 28 minutes before school. How many more minutes do I need to read after school? Okay, so I've read 28 minutes. How many minutes do I need to read? What's that missing part? So that I've read 50 minutes, okay? So on an open number line, the strategy we're working on today, once again, we would get to this answer in different ways, but here's how I would see it and how kids often see it. 28 plus 2, getting to that friendly 10, is 30. So, do I have a whole amount of 50 yet? No, I don't. 
but if I add 20, because I'm good at adding tens, now I have a whole amount of 50. 28 plus what part? How much did you add? 22 equals 50. So what's n equal or what's the missing part? 22. Where do we see it? Right here in that difference or that missing part. 28 plus 22 equals 50. Would you agree? Is that reasonable? Okay. Bob needs $63 to buy the new Madden game. He has saved $19 so far. How much more money does he need to save? Okay, now we can certainly think about that as 63 minus 119. Okay? However, we could also think of it as a missing part. So I'm going to write my answer statement first. How much more money does he need? Bob needs blank more money. Okay, so I'm writing that answer statement before I solve. Okay, but I'm going to think about it as I have $19, that's what I have, plus something is going to equal that whole amount of 63. Okay, so I've got $19 plus what is going to equal 63? Okay, plus 1 equals a whole amount of 20, okay? Plus 43 would equal 63. Now, some students might take a step of 20 and 20 and 3, okay? But many kids are good at just adding 20 to 43 at this point. So, I can add my dollar signs in here if I like. How much did I add to 19 to get 63? $44. Where do you see 44? Where do you see that part? Okay. Where do you see your part of 19? So would you agree that 19 plus 44 equals a whole amount of 63? And where do you see that whole amount on your number line representation? Okay. Alright, so let's take a look at another problem. When you get 500 points on the iPad math game, you reach level 2 and get the silver badge. If Mark already has 89 points, how many more points does he need to get to level 2? So we could think about this problem. Oftentimes kids will need to read this problem a couple times. Do a close read. What's it asking us? If Mark already has 89 points, how many more points does he need? Okay, so I'm going to write that answer statement once again. Mark needs blank points to get to level 2. Okay? All right, so Mark has 89 points. He needs some more to get a total or whole amount of 500 points. So I could represent this by adding up 89, 500. So really, we are looking for the difference between 89 and 500. So sometimes kids will write the part and the whole amount that they need, they'll write that 500. Other, other times they'll just write 89 and work to get to 500 without writing that down initially. Okay, but they're really trying to find the difference between 89 and 500. The difference in between those two numbers is the missing part or the unknown. Okay, so 89 plus 1 is 90. And then I'm going to get to that friendly 100. Okay. Am I to that whole amount of 500 yet? No. How many more do I need? 400 plus 100 equals 500. Okay, so Mark started with 89. How many more did he need to get 500 points? Okay, where do you see your answer? I see it in this difference or the missing part. 400 plus 10 plus 1 is 411 points. Okay, so you can see that it's important to talk about where do you see the parts, where do you see the whole, what is the difference between 500 and 89, okay, because they really can represent this as 500 minus 89 as well, okay. Thinking about that inverse relationship, you can see how powerful that is, um, and a lot of it has to do with the 
justifying why, explaining your thinking. And as you're modeling problems, explaining your thinking, asking those questions that have them really reflect upon the process. All right? All right, so I'd like us to take a look at a couple student examples where you're going to see students share their thinking while they're using the number line. And thanks to the kids at Orchard that were a part of this. Okay, so, um, 400. 80, I forgot her name, 89 plus N equals 790. So I'm going to write an addition number line. <coughs> 400 plus 300 would get you to... 789 and then you just have to add 1 to get to 790 so the answer would be 301 thinking this as an addition equation so here we go 579 plus n equals 800 Alright, so hopefully as you watch those student examples, you were noticing the number sense the students had. Um, they were really thinking about how to go about using this tool in a way that would help them think mentally as well as represent their thinking on, on paper through a visual um, versus just following steps or procedures. Um, even with this number line, they were using it in a way that made sense to them. Okay, so once again, one strategy. An open number line will not always be the best strategy for certain sets of numbers. Okay, so really critical to, to point out. All right, so hopefully um, now you have an idea of subtraction and we can add up or we can count back when we're subtracting. Um, hopefully you notice the power of the inverse relationship here in today's message. Um, once again, you can access all of these video tutorials and related resources by going to this website. And thanks again for your time. We will see you next time.